So, folks, moving along, I am joined by the infallible, the eclectic, Marvin the Movie Monster, everybody's favorite puppet. Round of applause. Marv, how are you doing, my friend? How are you doing? Oh, well, thank you. Thank you to your uh, your wonderful, responsive audience here. The uh, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I'm going to look up what eclectic means, and then I'm going to get back to you about whether I got to say thank you or screw you. But, yeah, uh, yeah everything's going good today. A uh, bit of a... Bit of a eventful couple of days, but uh, yeah, you know, to say the least, man, you the name triggered of the game. The... It's, it's what we're trying to do here. Yeah, man, all elite, all triggered wrestling. You oh got uh, you got those folk up in arms, man. But well, before... yeah, you know, it, I finally got them to sell for me, and then <laughs> <laughs> you At know, least someone's selling in that goddamn company yeah, exactly. For once. And then once once you once you sell it, like you know what what he all he you know we'll get to it later because I'll I'll talk about like. What happened, and then like what the uh, the outcome was, because this this ain't the first time somebody on that level has sold for me, and it's worked out very well in my favor. So yeah, like multiple, you're taking multiple W's, and I mean this shit had me popping a, a few times, even just opening the bookmarks on my Twitter to do to do this with you and go over this with you. I got popped because you even got like a fucking Twitter context. You got like one of those like oh notes my god added yeah, the to community your fucking notes. tweet too. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, no, this is a lie because this noted liar said that it's a lie. Yeah, dude, my word. So, um, but before we get into all that, uh, Marv. So, pro wrestling. Uh, I mean, you're we're we are lumped in in the IWC as people who are quote unquote AEW haters. Even though if you right. go on my YouTube channel in my comments. I get if I make a positive AEW video, I get called a fucking, oh, you're an AEW mark, blah, blah, blah. And then if I do uh -huh. positive WWE shit, which is mostly what I do because I enjoy WWE, I get called an E drone, fed mark, retard, all that. So you, you know, you go through it. Yeah, no, I go through I go through it too. Look, at the end of the day, AEW. I, I like I think we all say it and they don't want to believe us, but it's it's the God's honest truth. You want it to be good because I mean, like I was around during the Monday Night War and, Me you too. know, the, Mon the Monday Night War was the best time to be a wrestling fan. I mean, you know, people like to talk about people like to over glorify the Attitude Era a little bit. I think like, you know, you go back and you watch some of that stuff from like 98, <laughs> 99 and you're like, oh, like, you know, <laughs> yeah. Was, like, who's tuning yeah. in because Terry Runnels is pregnant and had a miscarriage. And now yeah, Daniel yeah. Brown and like giving birth to hands and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of it was rough. Uh, no, but I, I, uh, I was excited because I am a fan of sports based wrestling. Now, I mean, like things like Mid South and uh, Mid Atlantic, they were a bit before my time. Yeah. But uh, y you know, I, I came into wrestling a little bit later. Uh, it was probably like ninety ninety eight. I think was uh like right around. I remember my my first ever pay per view was WCW Bash at the Beach with uh, Hogan and Rodman versus DDP and Malone. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's good. I shit. remember that's watching my that. Same, uh, we're about the same. So I assume puppets age the same as humans. Uh yeah, monsters actually age the same as humans. Do, monsters for the part, most part, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the uh, you know people people like to uh, you know lump us all together, but let, yeah. let me tell you a secret. <laughs> let me tell you a secret. Blue monsters, they're the white people of monsters. Okay, oh, like okay. you know, you got Grovey, you got Cookie Monster, you got Terror, you got the, yeah, they, they're everywhere. But I mean, like you know, they're coming after Orange Monsters now, and and that that mm. ain't happening. Look, as an Orange Monster, I've got like a couple of role models to look up to, and one of them's Hulk Hogan. So I don't got a very <laughs> deep barrel to. To dig yeah, into there. Hulk Hogan and Fozzie Bear. Now, is Fozzie Bear, is he a bear or a monster? What is he's he a bear. Okay, he's all a right. bear. All right. So, um, all right. I've always been a bit of a, a bit of an Elmo guy myself, um, but now I'm a Marv guy. So, oh, well, I appreciate that. You went, you've gone up. You've gone up in the world. So speaking of milestones in WWE and uh, contrasting with AEW, you, my friend, at Movie Marvin on X and uh what's your youtube channel plug that and show so that yeah we, we so a, a channel i decided to start the channel because i was watching everybody fight you know like i was watching everybody on twitter fight and they were like I, and i was just saying to myself they're all taking this so seriously and i was like we need someone to like actually like joke about it you know like yeah, i've yeah. been joking about wrestling forever and so i was like I'm, i want to like inject some comedy into it and i want to like actually like you know make people laugh and maybe make them realize that oh you know this maybe this i'm taking this entirely too seriously maybe yes, we can all dude. laugh at it and so i 
created Tooney Town Wrestling. So it's youtube.com slash Toon Wrestling. You know, we have our song wrestling. parodies up there. We've done Tony the Snowman. We've done uh, the Chris Jericho, yeah. uh, you know, Only in My Mind. We've done uh, Aubrey Ed. The, yes. uh, you know, the Aubrey Edwards song. See, we, and, we did, I, uh, and this is um this is why I instantly connected with you as well, because I come from a musical background. And then also it's exactly your approach where you're like, dude, we're going to come come at this with like a comedic approach. Mm. And that's fucking that's what PWT was as well. And it just it was just like like we just got to yeah, you got shit on everybody, dude. And it's it's well, hilarious and that, and that's the, I, you know, how I, that is somehow becomes like the focus of like Sean Ross Sapp to where he's coming in our comments using the Fightful account. Yeah. Fucking shit. And then you got Tony Khan Douche. responding to you, for instance. You Douche. know what I mean? And like, we're yeah. just being funny. You're I making know. fake Jericho parodies. Yeah, no, you're a monster, the, Marvin. I don't know. We, 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 like. we, we, we did the my NDA YMCA parody. We just did the Hamilton parody. And we've got the Tony Khan puppet, Tony Khan. On. You know, he's he's kind of like the, the backbone of a lot of the jokes that we tell on the on the channel. Right. And we do the head. We do the headlock headlines every week. And, you know, we try to put a humorous spin on the news. Uh, you know, we get we get some flack because they're like, oh, why aren't you hitting WWE? Well, like I'm, yeah. I'm spending this whole weekend, you know, working on a new asset right. uh, that if you've been watching the headlock headlines, you've seen the post credit scene that's been kind of building to uh, how we're going to stop poking fun at the WWE. Right. So uh, but the th these things take a lot of time to to construct. And, and I and do I it had, all myself. So. I had DM'd you about that as well, about like and I was and like by all means, like I'm looking so for it's not that we can't laugh at WWE shit, guys. Like, yeah, trust yeah. me, we can't. But I had told you too. I was like, "Don't fold, though. Like, don't do this because these motherfuckers are telling you to." And no, you, no, I you mean, stuck like, by your guns, dude. And I applaud you so much for that, dude. Like, you are my oh, favorite you. wrestling. Like, kind of, I don't know. There's like AI channels that do like, oh, AI conversation. I'm not so much into that. Yours is like yeah, the I one like that, that I I love. You know, like I love watching well, your videos and shit. I, I really, really appreciate, I really appreciate you saying that, and I've always yeah. enjoyed your show too. Like, thank well, you. Ever since you. I found it. And it's it's gone into my like it's gone into my regular rotation like whenever I see a new video up yeah. and, and and you know it's uh you know I've been making WWE jokes forever you know like me too we, you know it's just that AEW is the new thing you know yeah so yeah we've always been telling AEW jokes like just kind of like I'm sorry WWE jokes just like hanging around like you know you're gonna see when uh, you know I'll just let the cat out of the bed when Puppet Triple H shows up this week on the Headlock Headlines <laughs> oh shit he's it's right, he's gonna be the it. it's gonna be the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen <laughs> I cannot wait dude my version of Triple H is absolutely insane look like we've got a bunch of like I've had running jokes for years about this guy. Like, you know, he thinks every match that he's in is the main event. So like WrestleMania 25, he's walking around being like, I thought we were doing that Sean Taker thing. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Easy day today, boys. Like, yeah, and we, we used to do things like uh, he, he thinks every black person's book of tea. Yeah. <laughs> hey, book. <laughs> yeah, he walks past my walks past Mark Henry and he's like, oh, my God, you let yourself go, Booker. <laughs> like. Oh my gosh! Uh, that's something that's going to be popping up in a future episode. I not to. I mean, I'm giving spoilers now. Yeah, you're already I should not be spoiler doing. alert. That's why I got to tune into PWT and make sure you tune it, tune into Tune Wrestling on Tune YouTube. Wrestling. Tune yeah, Town Tune, Wrestling at, at Tune Wrestling is the uh, the URL. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's a lot. It's easy to make fun of WWE for a lot of things, and we're going to do it. It's just a matter of I had not been able to produce the asset that was needed. In order to do this correct, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it correctly, you know. Plus, like, W or part of me, AEW's doing all the funny, silly shit lately. Like, come on, how can you not yeah. be making fun of Tony Khan as of this last? Oh my god, right? Like, dude, the guy just serves up gold. And speaking of which, so at yep. Movie Marvin, my guy here, Marv, as I call him, uh, he fucking talking to you listeners here. He provoked Tony Khan himself, as well as Dustin Rhodes himself. Uh, and to a lesser extent, Ricky Stocks. Yeah. So, and Ricky's always cool. He's always, I feel like he's always trying to have fun with it, you know, like with everything. Yeah, he was not that day. Was he not? Okay. No. So he's, he's actually trending right now. So I'm going to need you. I didn't see anything with, with Ricky. So you're going to have to fill me in on that portion. But oh, he was like, um, your content's um, crap. And, you know, like he like went like, oh, he, he really went, did. He went, yes. you know, he went off oh, on me. So like, much more gold here than I thought. Marv, you're the best. Okay. So let's, this is what you <laughs> tweeted out. Uh, two days ago, February 15th. This is February 17th, that time of recording. So you tweeted out, Tony Khan 
putting up a thank you to so, uh, part of me. I, I'm actually not giving the right context. So after right, right. Dynamite, it was the 200th episode of Dynamite. And to be fair, that was in the that was in the summer. I just saw this image now, though. Somebody, okay, yeah, you know, I, I saw the image making the rounds, and I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Like, so, so I believe it was back in July where they had the 200th Dynamite. So, so that makes this even funnier. Why do they care? Why would they care that you even brought this up? This is because they are even soft. Funnier. Dude, because they are soft. Oh my god, this is even funnier. Okay, so uh, the two hundredth dynamite, a graphic pops up. Thank you, Tony Khan. Dynamite two hundred. Marv tweets out at Movie Marvin on X goes Tony Khan putting up a thank you. I'll do it in your voice. No, I'm just kidding. Tony <laughs> Khan putting up a thank you. Tony Khan graphic is the billionaire equivalent of Michael Scott buying himself the world's greatest boss mug. When WWE hits milestones, they thank the fans which they do. That's very so true. When Tony hits milestones, he thanks himself, which is so true. Um, and look, and look, de yeah. devil's advocate, the we the thank you Vince chant when he was forced to retire. Cringy, cringy. I don't defend it. I don't I don't defend that at all. There you go. You know? So you just brought up an equivalent that you don't defend that you didn't see a clip of. But I also season. wasn't talking about that. <laughs> exactly. It's it's not what even you were talking about. So um, but there's some justification for you folks. Mm -hmm. So here, so where do we even start? So Tony Khan responds to this at Tony Khan himself. It's great. He goes, ha ha. It was a surprise from the crew after the live 200th episode of dynamite. It was a nice moment and unexpected. I appreciated it very much. Ha ha. Okay, and you got now, ratioed, but I mean, we, like that. We, what? Do, yeah, who even I mean, cares about that? Who gives a fuck? I, to be honest, like he's a celebrity, and I'm a guy with a two. Exactly. Stuff. You're you're like, you're a you monster. Know, <laughs> he, he uh, <laughs> you know, he is it just me or does that not seem like a tweet that came from Tony? Khan? Like based on how you've seen him interact with others who have pushed his buttons yeah. in the past, like it's usually like you idiot. And like, you know, he usually like it's like in their face and he like calls them names. Or look, look at the way he went at Eric Bischoff, like the way he was like, you know, running around about about Rossi, a guy would be in fire. Like yeah. th this was. I was like, why is he so calm and collected toward me? Like, I, I, I don't know. For some reason, I was like, I wonder if like his Jamaican, his Jamaican nanny Agape like took his phone and like tweeted that herself. Like, oh, be leaving that, Mr. Yeah, Tony I alone, mean... dare damn monster. <laughs> oh my God, man! Do one guan, man. Take the phone, man. What do you? What it, is this man waffling about? Yeah, um, I, I, uh, I, I just like it felt weird. Like, I, but so then I was like. Uh, Oh, you, you know what you're reading them so why don't you go ahead well it just it like to to i think maybe if you were like eric bischoff he'd go off a little more but i think he's trying to approach because assuming he realizes you're a monster you're in fact a monster like mm -hmm. i don't know if he was just trying to be like more cordial and like well actually it was a surprise like who knows where his adderall run where that where that yeah dose of he might have, was taken he might have just rude, taken like, a dose yeah we're not fucking like i don't know we got to be adults about this like the man clearly takes at least adderall right am i wrong about that Come at on, the guys. very least yeah so um you know maybe kratom maybe other things maybe so, other things that aren't over the counter yeah so which is what a lot of people imply and like i wouldn't shock me because i've done those things and i've fucking hung out with people who've done those mm -hmm. things and i'm just saying we're just being adults here about this so tony khan definitely like who knows where his adderall trip was at how much sleep he's gotten on or had not gotten not had rather because the guy fucking doesn't like how does he sleep how does he run all these shows how does he book ring of honor too like no one ever talks about man this guy's booking ring of honor that no one's watching too oh my like god we, ring of honor i mean like i used to go to ring of honor like at the rex plex like yeah. you know like back in the day like watching the punk the cm punk raven dog collar matches and things like that you know this is what we're seeing now it's just like oh they're like oh he saved ring of honor and i'm like Keeping someone on life support while they're a vegetable is not saving their life. <laughs> like, I, you know, sometimes you got to just pull the plug. Yeah. So. <laughs> so then Dustin Rhodes at Dustin Rhodes, who we've put over tremendously. I've put I love, over I tremendously on this show. The I greatest AEW match of all time is Cody versus Dustin. Yep. Um, you have uh, a guy who every time he shows up, yeah, he might throw a destroyer in his match, but he's usually just making guys look really good, putting them over, giving people experience. Absolutely. The crowd invested. I saw Gold Dust at a WWE house show um, right near the tail end there, and he looked like he did not want to be there at all. And uh -huh. was, I think Rhino. 
and I started a fucking you're a legend chant and he got fucking fired up and he was feeling the vibes. Oh, that's so, good. That, yeah, and it was a dead ass crowd, but it was uh I, I mean loved that, that it. This is the thing that I want to make it perfectly clear. Like, yeah. even though he like sniped at me and then blocked me before I could respond. Oh, he blocked you too. No, Dustin. Oh, yeah, no, he no. did. Yeah, he did. Uh so I love I love Dustin Rhodes. Like, I love the whole Dusty is one of my favorites of all time. And I could never I will I, I can never and will never disrespect his son. Yeah. Especially someone who whose abilities that I respect as much as I respect Dustin Rhodes. He is a legend in his time, and you know. He, I'm like, look, Dustin. He's defended. Go, you can go ahead and say what he said. He didn't say anything to even. No, say, no. Everybody's just, like, oh, Dustin cooked you, and I'm like, no, he didn't. <laughs> no, <laughs> at Dustin Rhodes just responded, shut up, dude, and then he blocked you. Fuck, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, so disappointing, but it, no, and like I'd be like, oh, Dustin cooked you, and I'm like, at what point was that? Co- Did I miss that part? Was it after the block? Like, because he just said, shut up. Jesus, that's, that's all he that's said. The, I don't see nothing. It, it, he didn't follow up. No, I'm clear. Man, if that if, if that's the case, every kid on the playground in kindergarten used to used to cook me too. So there's just people posting uh I don't know. There's some there's people like in defense of you underneath his shit too, though. Like Oh, well, that's so, good to hear. Yeah, there's a bunch of people being like rare L bro, and like you you see, of course, like AEW neckbeard showed him out. He's a mm. French Canadian. What else do you expect? I love that guy. Yeah, he's good, he's a good, good friend. He's a good, good friend dude. of mine. Yeah, he's a really good dude. Um, I would love to have him on the show, but I just don't think he's interested in doing that. Um, you never know. You never know. Yeah, I'll talk. I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him. Anyway, so he responded to that, and then I think the th- shit that popped me the hardest is um, the fact that community notes readers added context. Oh my god! To movie Marv's tweet, like, and, and then like, all uh, oh, proof is that Tony Khan said this. Tony Khan. Oh, St. Anthony, he only speaks the truth, right? Like, yeah, so he so the, he couldn't the, possibly be lying or exaggerating. Look, I'm I'm sure I don't know. I can't imagine things are going up on that trauma without his no without his say so. <laughs> Look, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Like yeah. it, that ain't the end of the world. And I admit when I'm wrong, Uh, you know, Pat Buck, who I mean, like, I'm like, why are you even like, why do you even exist in wrestling, Pat Buck, uh, let alone like work on a, <laughs> any kind of high level? Like, what have you ever done to deserve to like work backstage at WWE? But uh, yeah, he, he said something to do. He's like, oh, it was Dean Malenko's idea. And I'm like, OK, well, if it was Dean Malenko's idea, I'm not going to disagree with it because, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I don't want to get stretched. But exactly. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, um, so then but, Ricky Stocks, Ricky Stocks went off, and then like I don't even remember what he said, but I mean, you know, he was he was something along the lines of, you know, you're you're a content creator who makes crap content, and I was just like, this is this is like somebody, uh, one of my followers, I didn't respond to him because I'm like, why bother? And like one of my followers was like, oh, Ricky Stocks, and I was like, look, Stockholm syndrome is a very real thing, like you oh know, him 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 feverishly defending the man who has single handedly destroyed his career is is definitely a choice. And, uh, you know, it reeks of like, you know, the kidnapping victim who who defends the kidnapper in court. Yeah, I can't believe that he fucking. So he didn't block you, though, did he? No, I blocked him, actually, because I was oh, like, you were just like, fuck you. you. Yeah, yeah exactly. like, no, I've, I've, that, I've that, after the last couple of days, I mean, like I was getting bile from every which direction and these people are idiots like like they have the, the everything is it's all the same oh no touch grass oh you, you know you play with puppets uh, oh, like, oh i that's see new, his, that's yeah. news to me like you know oh wow i'm a puppeteer and, and i just hate boy. yeah it's like bro that's what they do in fucking like okay what was bray wyatt doing playing with fucking puppets so shut the exactly fuck up, you know? exactly it's like dude shut the fuck up um but yeah okay ricky starks's response i can so he just said this is rich from a paid blue check mark terrible content creator i'd hope your terrible parodies was able to bring in eight dollars that's just just shut up man like to be fair ricky you're working for tony for money sorry you respond no to be fair ricky it does bring in at least eight (laughs) dollars so you know oh yeah i am i am i believe it or not like you know people are like oh prove it and i'm like okay here's my here's my twitter monetization report like you know it's like what if i make like 60 bucks in a month and i spent eight dollars that's beer that's beer, it's beer money you know it's, yeah, that's no, going out to dinner. that's you know i am operating on a profit unlike certain other companies out there so basically to summate everything that went down um marv you talked some shit <laughs> about tony khan he responded to you a little favorably and then Ricky Starks, who's on his way out the door, we all know that, uh, ended up getting in a tiffy with you. You blocked him. 
Gold Dust, a.k.a. Dustin Rhodes, who everyone loves, got in a tiffy with you too, but he just said, shut up, dude, then blocked you right away. And, um, yeah, so where do we I go from there? Are you? I mean, look, you, again, I don't see the Gold Dust thing as a tiffy because, you know, I love yeah. the guy. And, you know, if I say something stupid when I'm out with my friends, they'll say, dude, shut up. So, you know, exactly. it's... Uh, <laughs> It's not like he was like, you know, your content shit the way like certain other people did. So other people who, who, you know, I would have been rooting for up to this point, but now can kick rocks. Uh, but so, yeah. So like um, as far as, yeah, I mean, like, so maybe Ricky Starks, you're like, oh, fuck this guy. Now, why do you think he goes hard? Like he considers himself an AEW original. You look yeah, at I it, think that's why. I think, yeah, it's, yeah. I think he's, he's defending his money for the time being. You know, the, the more I think that the more you show this guy that you're his friend, the more money he gives you. So, yeah, exactly. I agree with that. That's, that's always been like my take on it from somebody on the outside. Yeah. Like you look in and you see the look wrestlers have always been whatever wrestlers always been Connie's, yeah. you know, like and the Connie can sense, you know, somebody with money like um, the yeah. Mazak got the Mazani. Like, you know, it, like they they know where there's a golden opportunity. The, the, this guy came the along. Money mark, bro. Mark this is the, the money mark. This is the money mock of all money mocks. The, yeah. the money mock whose money will never run out. Who's so, like a, you know, who's like a millennial fucking who's like a Reddit forum wrestler with an infinite money. You yeah, know? And, like, and, and is literally just happy to pay you to be his friend. That's exactly it. So like I, I mentioned earlier, you know, my father got me into wrestling him and him and my grandfather with tapes and all that. And so my father obviously fell off. My grandpa R.I.P. passed away. So. Um, for me, I started getting my dad back into wrestling now. You know oh, what good. I mean? Yeah, and yeah. so now that the shoe's on the other foot, and he's really into it because he loves seeing Co uh, Cody Rhodes and Charlotte Flair, and he sees Braun yeah, yeah. Breaker, and he's like, oh, shit. This, you know, it really gets him into it. And I'll put on AEW as well. And he doesn't fuck with it as much. He's like, "Why? what the fuck's going on? But the one thing he puts over is he's like, oh, Edge is here? Well, he's fucking, they're probably paying him, right? And then I go, yeah. And he's like, well, who gives a fuck? Like he laughs at, yeah. at, at Jericho. He's like, oh, it's like Hulk Hogan. He's just there getting his money, you know? And uh, that's what it is, man. And so I never will be mad at like Edge for going and getting $3 million a year from fucking Tony Khan. No, like, I'll never this be guy's mad willing at to, This guy's willing to pay you that money. Like they, yeah. they, you're going to be able to leave to your kids. Take yeah. the money. Exactly. Take the money. Uh, exactly. You know, I, but I but that's not why. But then like. So like that goes without saying, I almost feel like. And then these other comments just come with like, I'll never blame Dustin Rhodes for that. And I won't blame him for like defending the money mark so he can keep the money coming in because we know that's what it is. But it's just like at the same time, it's like, I don't know why you're even worried about Marv. I got to be honest. You, uh, you, know? you know what? At the, end of the, <laughs> at the end of the day, every TNA guy used to defend the hell out of Dixie Carter. Yeah. And now they can't rush to talk shit about her on the Internet right. enough. You know, they used but to, she they didn't used have to lifetime be... NDAs, though. That's the Correct. other thing is that yeah, Tony Khan and all the AEW fans get mad when Punk and Cody don't trash them on fucking TV, but they're not allowed to trash them on TV. Meanwhile, MJF's whole gimmick is but WWE, you yeah. know, their whole well, show and, is and... WWE, WWE. So it's like, fuck you. Like, I hate that Tony can throw it, but he can't take it. I don't like well, absolutely. I mean, and you know, like he said those things in the beginning when he first started AEW, where he was like, "Oh, we're never gonna take down. We're never gonna copyright strike people. We're never gonna take down content. We're never gonna, you know." And and he was thinking I, about honestly, Matthew Greg. That's why he's yeah. like, "Oh, Botchamania is great. Botchamania is really great." And I, I legitimately great. think he never, in his wildest dreams, imagined that anyone could possibly dislike what he was going to no, do. No, I don't think so either. And I used to think that Jim Cornette, he would always talk about, no, like the guy that I met with was fucking deluded and he's kind of delusional. Yeah. And I told him like, and I was always like, oh, I think Jim's just, because Jim sort of big, big ups the shit. You know, he, he does. He he puts a little extra spice on that he shit. He sells it. He, he's an old school guy. That's he what we do. It. That's what you do. That's what I do too, brother. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. you know, we got to be entertaining. And so at the end of the day, it's like, it's like uh, I just always, looked at it like that but no tony's convinced me over time that everything jim Cornette's ever said about him like or hate jim everything jim Cornette's ever said about tony's and the young bucks are absolutely fucking true yeah in, in my opinion yeah. um and you the, see uh, well I, you also see it with the, these these children of very entitled you know like wealthy people accomplished people you know, you see, like his father is is who he is. His and father invented so the fucking bumper or whatever. Yeah, like through, <laughs> yeah, whatever he invented. But through Tony's life, 
I guarantee you he has faced very little criticism from from outside his immediate family, you know? So now, like, that's why, like, when you saw the guy brought the Tony Khan Wanks dog sign to the soccer game and he, like, flipped out about it, 